Okay, guys, just a quick video, um, you know, just based on what we're seeing for our clients' gift voucher sales. I thought I'd just do a quick video to help you guys. If you're sort of wondering how to uh, capitalize on the Christmas gift market for your salon or skin clinic and what things that you can do that work really well, here's what we find or what we're finding already is working the best for our clients. And, and when I say working best, we're talking about you know, literally thousands in revenue and in Christmas gift voucher revenue that some of that we've already made for some of our clients. So what we do is we create these prepaid gift vouchers that can be you know, some kind of offers, enticing offers that you can either market to everyone, including your clientele, both to both current and new clients, or heavily discounted gift vouchers for new clients only, okay? Now we're finding the most popular gift vouchers for new clients only are 50% um, off gift vouchers. So, so basically, 100 pound gift vouchers sold for 50 quid, or 200 pound gift vouchers sold for 100 quid. Now, yes, big, big discounts, but bear with me here. Remember, this can be for selling these to new clients only, okay? And if you, we always go by a rule, if someone has not visited you in the last 12 months, we validate them as a new client, okay? Um, and also we put in the term that these are, uh, some salons will insist that these can only be redeemed in January. Some will go as late as the end of February, or some will go somewhere in between, which you know, January is typically a quiet month for salons and skin clinics. So if you anticipate the same, yeah, create these big, don't be afraid to create these big discount offers, 50% off gift vouchers, but for new clients only that must be redeemed in January or until you know, mid-February, you're getting in plenty of clients, new clients in what would other be otherwise be a pretty quiet time. The other great thing about these gift vouchers, when given as a gift, you know, someone gets a hundred pound gift voucher. You know, someone you've sold it to someone for fifty quid, they give it to a, to someone as a gift. Most people are going to want to use the full, make full use of that one hundred pound, and that typically means people overspend. Yeah, a lot of your gift voucher holders will actually spend more when they're in your salon and clinic. So that's extra spend from your new clients and you're introducing a whole new clientele. Um, other offers that are really popular, we're finding our facial offers. Um, you know, we're doing um, offers for skin clinics such as um, you know, uh, 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 between 30 to 40% off for hydrofacials, uh, 30 to 40% off for teeth whitening. Now this can be used for everyone, including pre-existing clients, but again, must be used in January or up until mid-February. So you know, just whatever your, you tend to find the more mainstream beauty services are more popular as Christmas gifts, facials, massage, and not so much the aesthetic, you know, your body sculpting, laser hair, and these sort of things don't really make traditionally the best of gifts. So if you're if you're a beauty salon wanting to uh, considering what to do for your Christmas offers, facial, massage, put a discount on it, market it to both your pre-existing and new clients, and then you get a whole bunch of if the offer's good enough, you get a whole bunch of your regular clients buy for both themselves and as Christmas gifts. That's what we're finding for our salons. If you're a hairdressing salon. The, the gift voucher for new clients I just went. If you want to do something that incorporates your pre-existing clients as well, maybe just you know, uh, a gift voucher for extra credit or just less of a discount, okay? Um, but don't be afraid to be, come in with big discount prepaid uh, voucher offers to bring in new clients in January. Um, now, how do you market this? The first people you want to market this to is both your, your clientele, your marketing list, blasting out. You, know, you should be emailing out your Christmas offers now at least once a week. We're doing it at least twice a week for our clients. You want to be putting your Christmas offers in front of your marketing list as much as possible now, okay? Because it's a competition for eyeballs and most people are going to need to see these offers multiple times before they then decide to buy, okay? So definitely keep sending out emails, keep promoting, and also do an SMS send to your marketing list as well. On average, we get between three to four times more uptake from a text message send than we do an email send. So make sure you do at least one SMS blast to your marketing list as well. And you know, don't be afraid to, I mean, firstly, if you've got a, 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 if you've got a booking software and you know you've got a client database of several thousand, any booking software that you use, you should be able to create an old client list. You should be able to create a list of clients that have not visited you in the last 12 months. That's the perfect target audience to market there for these pre these Christmas offers that if, uh, if they're heavily discounted offers for new clients to get them back through the door and also getting them buying as Christmas gifts and introducing more new clients for you as well. So create that cl old client database, 
That's the first people you want to be marketing to by both email and text message for your, your Christmas gift, prepaid gift voucher, new client offers, okay? And also, don't be afraid to market to your regular clients, but making it aware this is for gifts only, and this is just a means of, you know, Christmas gifts and introducing new clients through the door in January. And if any of your regular clients are unhappy with this, I'm sure, you know, worst case scenario, validate them the offer or give them something, you know, most people will be happy with that. So that's what we're doing. Um, you, I mean, in terms of advertising, don't be afraid to send out, you can do social media advertising to your following, you know, just specifically the audience. If you've got a big following on Facebook or Instagram, sending out, creating Facebook or Instagram ads for them as well. But first and foremost, focus on your lists. It doesn't cost anything to email out. Be regularly emailing these offers, your gift voucher offers to your database, making sure you're doing at least one SMS send as well. This equation is already making uh, some of my clients thousands in revenue and it'll continue to do so right up until December. So there you go. Uh, if you want our help or you want us doing this for you, uh, by all means, reach out, get in touch, but be quick because, you know, people are starting to buy Christmas gifts, you know, right now. We want to, you want to capitalize on that market and make as much in Christmas gift voucher revenue as possible. Okay, bye for now.